Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well and welcome back to our beginners video series on Windows Server 2022 here on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to backup and restore Active Directory integrated DNS zone in Windows Server 2022. As we know that DNS is an integral part of Active Directory domain services as it is entirely responsible for DNS name resolution. When a DNS server fails, locating resources within the network becomes impossible and all Active Directory operations come to a standstill. Therefore, it is absolutely necessary to restore the DNS servers. One way to address this issue is by performing an authoritative restore of ADDS as Microsoft's preferred method for backing up a DNS server is through a system state backup. However, this process is both time-consuming and complex, requiring domain controllers to be restarted for a changes to take effect. Additionally, it involves restoring the registry, Active Directory database, and several other components. As a result, there is increased downtime which negatively impacts the productivity. Fortunately, there are alternative methods available for backing up your DNS server independently. Microsoft doesn't recommend this method because it causes unnecessary replication and erase all the security information in this zone. We can use Windows PowerShell and DNSCMD.exe command to backup and restore Active Directory integrated DNS zones as needed. Let's understand the test lab we will use in this video. We have single domain Active Directory forest named msftwebcast.com. This is our domain controller srt22-dc01.msftwebcast.com. This server has an IP address of 172.18.72.50. Open run menu, type dnsmgmt.msc and hit enter key to open DNS manager. As we can see, we have three Active Directory integrated DNS zones on our DNS server. Click on msftwebcast.in DNS zone. Take a look at resource records and startup authority number. In this video, we will use Windows PowerShell to backup msftwebcast.in Active Directory Integrated DNS Zone. Right-click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type command get DNS server zone and hit Enter key to get the list of all DNS zones present on this server. We can see Active Directory Integrated DNS Zone msftwebcast.in is listed. Type command export DNS server zone, then specify zone name, which is msftwebcast.in. Now type the name of the zone file in which this command will export and store the zone data. Hit enter key to run the command. The command was executed successfully. Open run menu, type system32 and hit enter key. Locate and access DNS folder. Look for the file with the name msftwebcast.in.back. Open the file in Notepad. Verify the resource records present in the backup file. We can confirm this is our DNS zone data. Let's close Notepad file. That's it. The backup of the Active Directory integrated DNS zone has been completed successfully. Now, let's see how we can create or restore Active Directory Integrated DNS Zone using this backup file. To test this, let me first delete the existing msftwebcast.in DNS Zone. Go back to Windows PowerShell. Type command remove DNS server zone hyphen name msftwebcast.in hyphen force and hit enter key to delete the msftwebcast.in DNS Zone. Let's verify that the zone has been successfully deleted by running the command get hyphen DNS server zone. Okay, the zone is deleted successfully. Let's begin the restoration process. First, we need to create a standard primary DNS zone using this backup file. Then, we will convert the standard primary DNS zone into an Active Directory integrated DNS zone. You can accomplish this with Windows PowerShell 
But in this video, I'll be using the GUI method. Go back to DNS Manager. Click on Forward Lookup Zones and then click on Refresh. Right click the Forward Lookup Zone node and then select New Zone. Click Next. Select Primary Zone Type. Clear the checkbox to store this zone in Active Directory and then click Next. In the Zone Name box, type the zone name. Type msaptivewebcast.in and then click Next. On the Zone File Wizard, this time we have to select the option Use this existing file. Make sure you have file with the name msaptivewebcast.in.dns on this given path. Our backup file is also stored in this location. So we don't have to do anything. We just have to rename that. Let's go there. Let's go to DNS folder. We have backup file with the name msaptivewebcast.in.back. So we have to rename this file to msaptivewebcast.in.dns. Let's rename it. Let's remove dot back and put dot DNS. Hit enter key. Click on yes. Okay. Now we have the required dot DNS file. Let's go back to news on wizard. Click next to continue. Again, click next and click on finish. The standard primary zone has created successfully. Click on msaptivewebcast.in DNS zone. Ensure that all the resource records are present and that's our case. In the next step, we need to convert the standard primary DNS zone into Active Directory integrated. To do that, right click the msaptivewebcast.in DNS zone and select properties. Type is primary. Click on change. Select the checkbox to store the zone in Active Directory. Click OK. Click on yes. Now we need to define the replication scope. To do so, click on change. If you want to replicate this zone to all domain controllers in the forest, then select the first radio button. We will keep second option selected as we want to replicate this DNS zone to all DNS servers running on domain controllers in our domain amaseptivewebcast.com. Click OK. We also want to enable secure dynamic updates for this zone. Click on drop down list and select secure only from the list. Now click on apply and OK to save the changes. Finally, we should have our DNS zone amaseptivewebcast.in up and running. Click on forward lookup zones. Verify the zone type for amaseptivewebcast.in is Active Directory Integrated Primary Zone and status is running. If you use this method, make sure to set the zone to only secure updates after it is moved back to Active Directory if you want the zone to be secure. However, because all security information will have been erased, it is possible for client computers that were not the original owners to take ownership of records in the zone. This may be a security issue and can lead to name resolution issues that can be difficult to troubleshoot. That's all for this video on how to backup and restore Active Directory Integrated DNS Zone in Windows Server 2022 TNS Server. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.